Hey YouTube, hope you and your families are staying safe through the coronavirus crisis. And today, I'm going to share with you five proven techniques to make this roll of toilet paper last you the whole crisis. Frugal Steve here, folks. With mass shortages of toilet tissue, an unforeseen side effect of the coronavirus, never have I been so conscientious when I do this. Are you down to your last roll? Well, don't fret. Today, we'll cut through the confusing math and explore five proven methods to save TP until the virus blows over. So the beauty of the first couple techniques is they don't even involve the toilet paper. Technique number one is strategize. Stick to liquid foods and not solid foods and you'll have less solid waste. It's that simple. Avoid diuretics. If you're a big fan of coffee, that actually does make you go number two just as much as it makes you go number one. So just lay off the coffee and you'll be good. And then think about it if you're going to eat solid foods. Eat foods that are going to harden up your stool and that way it allows for a cleaner exit and you lose, use less TP each time you do it. So that's technique number one to strategize on what you eat. Technique number two, also definitely use toilet paper. Technique number two is hold it in. So sometimes you feel like nature is calling your bowels are activated, is telling you you have to do number two. You don't have to do number two. You never really have to do number two. If you build some strength in your muscles and just contract and hold it, instead of taking lots of little poops, you'll take one big poop and you'll save a lot of toilet paper when you do that. So that's technique number two, is hold it in. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the toilet paper techniques. So this is a standard roll of two-ply toilet paper, which means First technique is use both plies. So I'm peeling these plies apart, you'll see there's actually one piece, right, as it comes off the roll, and then you can spread that into two pieces. So you have two pieces of toilet paper. So I've got one ply here that I'm going to use. I'm going to show you the technique for folding it. Because our next techniques are using both sides, using all sides. So fold the toilet paper in half. Now I have a half of half of toilet paper. So I've, I've used it, right, if I've used it, Side one, maybe I've used that, it's contaminated, I fold that. And now I've got uncontaminated toilet paper. I'm using the folded now, fold that again, right? And then I can fold it. Each time I fold it, I get a new clean side, right? And then, as you guys know, you can't fold a piece of paper more than seven times. So once you've hit seven times, you're gonna try to use the, the length and you've actually got four tries there. So you can use one, two, three, and four. So that's technique number three, is use both plies, use both sides, use all sides. I've gotten probably eight wipes out of this one piece of toilet paper. Okay, so technique number four, this is for the guys, all right, is change up your wipe direction. So if you're primarily an up wiper, you can actually want to start with a down wipe. So if you do a down wipe, you can actually maximize your pressure. You grab one cheek, maximize pressure with the other hand, and you're gonna feel some contours that you probably haven't felt before. But this is a crisis, and we need to maximize our resources. So you're gonna grab one cheek. Best to do this on the ball, by the way. Grab one cheek, and then use pressure. Do a down wipe. Try to clean up as much as you can with that wipe. Then, once you've gotten a couple down wipes through and you're running clear, you're gonna to wanna to do an up wipe. So if you do an up wipe again, you may wanna stand up now, grab a cheek, and then do an up wipe to clean yourself off. And then that'll actually be a very good way to clean your, your bum. You'll, you'll be fresh, just like you would be, but you'll have used a lot less toilet paper. I've gotten through some pretty challenging jobs with probably just three squares using the technique number three of using all the sides and technique number four of uh, just making sure I'm optimizing my wipe direction. Lastly, technique number five, if all else fails, you have to take a shower. All right, so that's all my tips for you, YouTube. Thanks very much for joining me again. Stay safe, stay home, keep your family safe, and maximize your toilet paper however you can.